Using aircrafts including long-range bombers like this one, U.S. military forces struck three locations in Iraq and four in Syria on Friday. The retaliatory strikes were ordered by President Joe Biden. A total of 85 targets linked to Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps Quds Force and affiliated militia groups were hit. These strikes will not be the last, said Lieutenant General Douglas Sims, Director for Operations of the Joint Staff, in a phone briefing Friday. Right now, all of our aircraft are out of harm's way. Um, it, I'm not going to provide any particulars as it relates to timing on, on future strikes. Targets include command and control operation centers, intelligence centers, rockets and missiles, drone storage, and logistics and munitions supply chain facilities of militia groups and their IRGC sponsors. Less than three hours before the strike, Biden and First Lady Jill Biden attended the dignified transfer of three U.S. Army reservists. They were killed Sunday in a drone attack on a U.S. base in Jordan that the U.S. attributes to the Islamic resistance in Iraq, an umbrella group backed by Iran. The timing of the U.S. strikes was determined mostly by weather, National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby told VOA during a phone briefing Friday. It had no connection, none whatsoever, with the timing of the dignified transfer today at Dover Air Force Base. The dignified transfer at Dover Air Force Base, Delaware, was attended by the grieving families, military officials, including Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, and lawmakers from the state of Georgia, where all three slain soldiers were from, Sergeant William Jerome Rivers, Sergeant Kennedy Layden Sanders, and Sergeant Brianna Alexandria Moffat. Biden spoke to their families earlier this week. I wish I didn't have to make this call. I, uh, I know, uh, you know... Everybody, uh, I, I know there's nothing.